Hello you gorgeous human you, how are you today? It's so wonderful to see you again. It's our penultimate session and I notice I have feelings about that. Um, I've so enjoyed running through all of these steps with you. But today is a good one. Today is a really, really juicy one. It's slightly different to things that we've done before in that you're going to need a chunk of time for this one. But that's because it's worth doing, worth doing well, and you have something really solid and tangible to take forward with you. So as these sessions come to an end, you will have this additional visual reminder to take forward with you. Now, because it takes time, around 30, 40 minutes, something like that, what I'm going to recommend is that if you don't have time now, just stop listening to me right now and come back when you do. The reason I'm saying that is that there's a danger that if you listen through and not engage, you might talk yourself out of it or... or um, feel that you've kind of done it theoretically and that's good enough. You know, the hard on yourself part is still here, it's still present, it's always going to be present. So we need to watch out for the little tricks and pulls. And do you remember all the way back at the beginning when we started, when you wrote the love letter to yourself? We were working on the principle that done is better than perfect. So rather than kind of watch this through and kind of then get into some of the kind of, you know, theory about what it might be. Just do it in real time. It'll be better, fresher. So if you don't have the time, I will see you later. You can fast forward to this point and then begin from this point. Otherwise, let's do it. Let's get stuck in. And this is an activity that's taken from a, a wonderful coach called Maria Nemeth and from her book called The Energy of Money. Highly recommended, great read, great woman, great courses, check her out. But we're looking today at her exercise, which is called The Standards of Integrity. So to do this, as mentioned in the email this morning, hopefully you've got some paper and a pen handy, um, ready to get stuck in. If you don't, hit the pause, go get it, come back. Okay, so I'm just going to break it down into chunks. You can hit pause and then come back to me when you're ready. So, the first stage is for you to just start to write down on your pad anybody that you can think of that you admire. They can be people that are known to you. It may be people who are fictional, characters in books or films, or it could be historical characters. It could be a teacher, you know, from the past friends that you love, family members. So anybody at all from the past, from the present, from an imagined future, real, imagined, historical, fictional. Don't limit yourself. If you aim for around 10, that would be a good number. So just take your time, see what comes to mind. And then when you've got a good list of names, come back to me. Great. So you have your names. Wonderful. Fantastic start. It can be difficult to, to, to think of people. But I think once we get going, more, more land. So for this stage, what you're going to do is now start at the top and that first person and think, what is is it about that person that I admire? What are the qualities that come to mind? 
you know, are they um, ambitious, adventurous, caring, loyal, um, warm, grounded, bold, can be anything at all, but find the qualities um, of that person that you admire and write them next to their name. And then you're going to work your way through the list and do the same with everybody on the list. A quick hack, if you notice that the same quality, that different people have the same quality, just put a tally mark next to it. So rather than write it out each time. So if the second and third person are also bold, just put a tally mark next to bold. That's it. That's your next task. Find the qualities. Write them all out and I'll see you once you've done that bit. Wonderful. So now you have a whole list of qualities there that you admire in other people. So now take a new sheet of paper. And one by one, you're going to look at the qualities that you wrote down. And you're going to go inside and, and, and think, does that quality have resonance for me? Does my heart kind of light up for even a second if I think of that quality? Do I love being in the presence of people? Who have that quality? If the answer is yes, transfer it over to the blank page and start writing a new list. It may be that you transfer all of the qualities over, maybe that it's just a few. And it might be as you're doing this exercise that there's another quality that just pops into your mind that you think, oh now that, I really love being in the presence of people with that. Great, grab that doesn't matter if it wasn't on the original list, if there's any more that, that pop in your mind, write them on the new list. Hit pause, I'll see you when you've done that. Okay, so now you have a list of qualities that have real resonance for you. They light up your heart somehow. And another way of saying, you know, they have resonance is that you recognise them. You know, when I, if I tell you that something is blue, what we know in that is that I know what blue is because I'm telling you it's blue. So it's the same for these qualities. You know what they are because they are inside of you. So we think of the and, I am this and this because I'm all of it. And these qualities that you love and admire and enjoy being around in others, well guess what? These are you. These are yours. These are what have the greatest light for you. So just take a look at them again. There you are. This is you. You're a bit amazing, aren't you? And it might be as you look at that list, there are some that you think, yeah, okay. Yeah, maybe I am adventurous. Maybe I am kind. Yeah, I can see that. And there might be some others that you think, yeah, I don't see myself living that so much. Confident, outspoken. This is great information because it means that it's ready in you to be dialed up. You have it, but maybe you're not using it or leaning into it as much as you could right now. But you don't have to go looking for it. It's there. It's waiting to be used and accessed by you. So the way that you're going to 
pull this together so that it's really useful and, and front of mind for you, almost as a, a little kind of map um, of, 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 you know, the, all, all the places that I might land on are, are good places for me to go. Um, so find a little card or something that you can just have easily to view. And you write across the top. These are my standards of integrity. Integrity meaning integral, whole. This is where I experience wholeness. So across the top, these are my standards of integrity. Write down whatever was on your list. And at the bottom of the card, as a reminder to yourself, write down, I know these are mine because I see them in others. And there we are. You've got a roadmap, kind of the insides out. These are the, the standards of integrity, the places that have energy for you, places that you love and admire in others, that if you dial them up, others can love and admire and enjoy in you. I hope you find that useful. Keep that card somewhere near so that you're going to glance at it regularly at different points over the coming days so that it starts to sink in and become more front of mind, more accessible for you, ready to lean into and access. Thank you so much. I hope you found that invaluable. It's an activity that you can do every now and then periodically if you're revisiting this 30 day loving reboot. Um, do this standards of integrity again, see are the same ones there, have they changed? Um, it definitely changes and matures with time. We've got one more day together. <laughs> I can't wait to see you tomorrow for a really wonderful way to pull all of this together. For now, have a wonderful day. Take care.